The COVID-19 pandemic has upended the educational lives of millions of students across the world. In March 2020, school districts across the U.S. shut down and stayed physically closed for an average of three months. At the same time that parents and educators were growing concerned about the impacts of school closures on learning, testing was widely canceled, leaving us with little available data on how students were faring during the spring. In this study, we were able to draw on prior research on out-of-school time, including research on summer learning loss, absenteeism, and weather-related school closures, to produce a best guess of the impact of extended school closures on learning. In this study, we leverage research on summer learning loss and absenteeism to produce a few different projections of what the out-of-school time impacts on learning might be. In our first scenario, we assume that COVID school shutdowns operate like a typical summer break and students will lose ground at the rate experienced under a normal summer. In our second scenario, based on data collected from teachers this spring, we consider the case where students are receiving approximately half of the amount of instruction they normally receive in the spring. Finally, we consider the scenario where students are fully absent during the last three months of school. So for this scenario, that might be students who never were able to participate in remote learning during the spring. Preliminary estimates suggest that some students will return in the fall with roughly 70% of the learning gains in reading relative to a typical school year. In math, the story could be a lot more alarming, with students potentially returning with less than 50% of the learning gains in some grades. We project that math will be more impacted than reading, and we believe that's because reading is often easier for families to do at home together, and many children already have books at home that are age appropriate and engaging, whereas that is less likely to be the case for math activities. We found that learning losses associated with missing three months of school could be sizable, especially for students without access to remote schooling. Inequalities that have existed in our educational system prior to COVID are getting worse at the same time that school districts are facing massive budget shortages. We need additional investments from the federal government to prevent looming school budget cuts. We also need to invest in closing the digital divide and make sure we're providing broadband internet access to traditionally underserved communities. Finally, we have to remember that students are resilient and many students will weather this crisis just fine. It will be important to identify students who are struggling and have fallen behind academically and provide those students with extra supports, such as high dosage tutoring and additional instructional time.